it is an industry that has prospered for 140 years and one of the problems in US they have faced is every time you try to regulate it they try to bypass it and the scandal happens then again a new regulation comes they bypass it so it is scandal regulation scandal regulation and some of the biggest lobbies interviewed by a researcher told them they have not found in all these years one single lobbyist who has been prosecuted and sentenced then everybody is criticizing the lobbying business the republican criticized then democrat criticized them and everybody says they must be regulated when it comes to regulation when it comes to regulation there is no consensus because even about regulation the lobbies are so influential they ensure that new regulation does not come in the last three lines are very very significant in america not only the legislators are elected even the policemen are elected in many of the states and even the lower court judges are elected they are all subject to lobbying and their verdicts very often are influenced by lobbying these are all based on documented evidence there are enough number of studies in us and there is a very interesting rating of enforcement of regulation out of all the 46 states reviewed only one state the state of washington in seattle that is the only state that came up to some level of enforcement in all the rest of the states both the regulation was bad and enforcement was nil What is lobbying? Legitimately, advocacy is part of any democracy. I had a lot of advocacy for social causes. On World Bank, various people engage me. How do you say HIV AIDS? At one time, some 10 years ago, the government did not even take it seriously. So you have to do political advocacy with parliament, with the prime minister, with the legislators. You do the advocacy so that they recognize that as a very major disease to be controlled. In any democracy, you go and represent your case. In fact, the whole lobbying in America is guaranteed by the First Amendment to the Constitution, which guarantees freedom of expression and a right to represent your grievance to the government. That is part of democracy. Legitimately, if you do your advocacy, there is absolutely no problem. However, a problem comes when you advocate your claims case and ensure that only that view prevails, but no contrary view prevails. This, I am sure, the organizers would be giving you copies of this. I don't want to go through all this. One of the biggest problems the lobbying business has found itself in is, while lobbying, what is the fee paid, etc., regulated. They have to be registered. There are records. Most of the lobbies are used by the legislators and all the people who are seeking elected officers for fundraising. In the latest American presidential election and uh, Congress and elections, do you know how, what is the amount spent? Six billion. Of the six billion, two billion were raised by lobbies. This is another problem with lobbying industry and also American system and our system also. This is called a revolving door. People who are in government, who are in legislature, today they are in the business of legislation. Tomorrow they go out as a lobbyist. 
One of the biggest examples which we came across in India was Ambassador Visna. He was the most powerful ambassador in India. While he was ambassador, he argued for Enron to come in. As soon as he retired from that, he became a director of Enron and came back arguing for Enron's case. Whether it is the, like our SEBI, they also have what is called SEC. They also have Federal Communication Commission, the most powerful uh, agency that regulates how media telecom industry works. According to various studies, out of 21 members of the FCC, in a cycle of two years, six people went out on a far higher salary than whatever they were gaining. So the author asked the question, very interesting question. If the regulators had really regulated, would they have been paid so much of money when they went out? There is another very interesting thing, latest, even today there is a shooting incident in America. The government is wanting to do gun control. But the most powerful lobby in America is National Rifle Association. You can see from the slide, 10 out of 15 members were ex very senior government officials. Another very interesting study. In America, recently the Republican wave has hit the elections. Although Obama got elected as a president, for the Congress, mostly the Republicans got elected. Most of the outgoing legislators immediately were seeking positions in lobbying industry. And they introduced the maximum number of legislation before they left in favor of the corporate world. There is a very interesting television show. These are all based on real stories. The Washington Influence Industry. This is available on YouTube. Any one of you is interested in studying more about it, knowing more about it, please go to YouTube. It is available in Washington. This is sponsored by Washington Post. Very interesting case studies are there about use and abuse of lobbying in America. Recently, I was reading a book, <coughs> The Moral Re Limits of the Market by Michael Sandel. Very, very interesting book. How the market today is crossing the boundaries of all morality. In that, he says, everything is available for selling, including legislation. When <laughs> lobbies want to block a legislation, the Senate, like our Parliament Select Committee, holds hearings. They make people stand in the queue, jobless people, pay them anything from 8 to 20 dollars, and they pack the halls so that others don't get an entry. This is the last slide. Does it require any explanation? Who is there to bell this cat? The cat is bigger than the mouse and the bell is in between. Any regulation lobbying industry by the system, it is like the debate that is going on in India about the Lokpal. <coughs> Who wants to build a cat? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now all of us can be lobbyists.